So, Space Cadets. It occurred to me that some of you may feel I was being just a bit harsh to the uh, bunny slipper in one of my previous videos. But you didn't have to travel across the universe with those two fuzz brains. Yeah, there are two of them. And they're equally rude. I mean, those two jerks were acting up the entire time. It's trying to make me do all kinds of crazy things, like uh, they tried to make me step on Space Cat's tail. Uh, they tried to make me kick my own ass. <laughs> oh, oh, get this. They tried to make me river dance. And I don't even know what that is, but I do not want to find out. I mean, the list just goes on and on. But to sum things up, generally speaking, they were really just trying my patience. And it got to the point where I was just like, okay, I've had it. I'm putting my foot down. Well, you know what they did? Yeah, they pulled it out from under me. So unless your slippers forced you to do the moonwalk on an actual moon, or I should say moons, plural, because they would do it every single time we came across one. And I mean, okay, the first time was a lot of fun, I admit. Um, if you're an astronaut, I highly recommend giving it a try. But do you guys realize how many moons are out there? I don't know, I lost count. Uh, plenty, okay? There are plenty of moons. And it gets so annoying. But I am president of the United Space and I should be setting a better example. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry for what I said in the other video. It wasn't very nice. And I promise I'm not going to donate you to Red Foreman. Okay? So, I don't know. You guys want to watch a movie or something? <laughs> oh, yeah? What do you want to watch? Uh, I don't know, I mean, well, you know how you guys get every time you, oh, okay, see, that is a perfect example of why I don't want you guys watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Ugh. am I bleeding? I can't let those two watch that movie because every time they do, it gets them all riled up and they start attacking people. It's really not cool. I mean, I just, I have to be careful with anything that I let them watch because they really get into their movies and, well, for example, on our way here to Earth, um, there was this one day in particular where they were just going absolutely berserk. I mean, just, ugh, it was bad. And to try and calm them down, uh, I put in one of their favorite movies. And it's actually this movie here, Real Genius. I don't know if you can see the cover, but uh, this guy here is wearing bunny slippers, which is obviously one of the reasons why they like it. Anyway, afterward, they thought it'd be hilarious to fill the entire spaceship full of popcorn. And let me tell you, when you're traveling at warp speed and your vision is obstructed by popcorn, not funny, okay? Not funny at all. In fact, it's really dangerous. And 
poor space cat was like squashed up against the window, like, meow. I just felt so bad for him. Like, he looked like one of those Garfields that people used to stick in their window, the ones with the suction cup hands, minus the big grin. Like he was really just not happy about the whole situation. And now whenever Space Cat smells popcorn, he attacks the slippers. Yeah. Like he won't even go in the spaceship anymore because it still smells like a cinema lobby. Okay, stop kicking me. Do you see what I have to deal with? I mean, they're like this nonstop all the time. Okay. You know what? How would you like it if next time we went out, I found some fresh dog crap and stepped directly in it? Yeah, you think it's funny now, but you're not going to be laughing when your soles are covered in shit. <sighs> Give me strength. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I, I have to go and find something suitable for these two to watch before they drive me nuts. And I got to put some ice on my face because it hurts really bad. But I'll, I'll try to be back soon.